welcome you again with another episode about the heroes of faith. With his grace, Bishop Yusuf, the Bishop of the Coptic Diocese, Orthodox Diocese of Southern United States. Sayyidina, uh, we welcome you in this uh, episode. Today we're going to talk about a great character, uh, a character that uh, was called by our Lord Jesus Christ being greater than all the prophets. Uh, definitely we're going to talk about John the Baptist today. Uh, John the Baptist is uh, a unique character to our youth. How do you think, Sayyidina, we can reflect on his character um, to our youth? John the Baptist, although he lived a short life, but his life was very, very fruitful. Uh, he preached repentance. And as we read uh, in, in the Gospel of St. Matthew, that all the people in the region of, of Jordan, when they heard him, they went to him, confessing their sins and repenting. He was very influential to the extent that Herod himself, the king, we read in the Gospel of St. Luke, that Herod uh, feared John and he enjoyed listening to him. Uh, and actually, uh, there is another verse saying, knowing that he is a holy man, an unrighteous man. Uh, John the Baptist uh, was a very strong in his faith. As the Lord said, uh, he is not like a reed shaken by the wind. He was like a mountain, steadfast. He preferred to offer himself as a sacrifice rather than to be a man pleaser and to please the king. And he paid a very, very high price, his life just to testify for the truth. That's why God chose John the Baptist to baptize him, because his love for God, his strength, his faith, uh, nobody received such honor like John the Baptist. Through saying that he's a, he's a leader, uh, or we can learn from him leadership, uh, for our youth. Um, Sayyidina, uh, John the Baptist um, has been chosen by God from the beginning or from the womb or even before that he to prepare the way uh, for his coming. And I look at the mission of preparing the way for our Lord Jesus Christ as a mission for all of us as servants uh, priests, youth, everyone. How we can, Sayyidina, be part uh, of preparing the way for our Lord Jesus Christ to the people around us? Uh, what we learn from uh, St. John the Baptist, he pointed to Christ and directed everybody to Christ. He had disciples, but he said to the disciples, I'm not the Messiah. He is the Messiah. He must increase, and I must decrease. So actually, to prepare the way, I have to, to, to put all my focus on the Lord Jesus Christ, and how to bring the people to God not to myself. Many times in our service we want people to be attached to me, to be around me, to follow my school, to follow my ideology, to be my children. But John, did, uh, John the Baptist did not do this. John the Baptist was saying, I'm not the Messiah. He asked his disciples, see, 
it's very, very difficult to give my children and my disciples you know, to somebody else. But, but, but John did this with a joyful heart. And he said, now my joy is full. Now my joy is full. He must increase and I must decrease. Uh, so when he uh, brought the bride and presented the bride to the true bridegroom, the friend of the bridegroom was very happy. And he said, my, my, my uh, joy is full. I think our way to prepare the Lord, to prepare the, the people for the Lord, calling them to repentance, as John did, and then bringing them into a direct relationship uh, with, with the Lord Jesus Christ, and we disappear completely. This reminds me with how Philip uh, did with Nathaniel. When Nathaniel started to question uh, whether the Messiah would come from Nazareth or not, what Philip did is come and see. And he put Nathaniel in a direct relationship with Christ. And when he put him in direct relationship with Christ, come and see, Nathaniel believed and said, you are truly the Son of God. That's how to prepare. Many times we teach people about God without teaching them how to know God. So we end up with students knew about God, but they don't know God. And I think our task is to teach them how to know God, not only to know about God. That's how to prepare the way. And this is exactly what John the Baptist did. And this is why our church, Sayyidna, put John the Baptist in a very high rank. In many, many uh, uh, ways, or in many, many um, apparent ways, how we put, how the church put John the Baptist in a very high rank. Can we reflect on this, Sayyidna, and tell us how we can, how the church uh, recognized this man? Actually, the church is following the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he said, uh, he is the greatest uh, among those born of women. Uh, and I think the greatness of John the Baptist, beside who he is, but the real honor of John the Baptist, as uh, we learn from his Holy Spoke Shenouda, is because he is the baptizer. He baptizes the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why Sayyidna uh, Pop Shenouda teaches us that on the icon stasis, we need to place the, the icon of John baptizing the Lord Jesus Christ, not the icon of John by himself. Because his honor and, and, and his greatness came from you know, being the baptizer of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Usually, we, we, we use two words uh, in, in, in the intercession, the word intercession and the word prayer through the intercession of or through the prayer of. And through the intercession, we keep it only for Saint Mary, all the heavenly ranks, and John the Baptist. So that's why we, we use a powerful word for John the Baptist. Another thing, uh, we mention him uh, immediately after all the heavenly ranks. For example, in the Hittines, we start by St. Mary, then the heavenly, then uh, John the Baptist. In the same way, in the Zoxologists, he comes immediately after the heavenly. Uh, also, on the iconostasis, uh, we have on... Uh, uh, yeah, if I'm facing east, I have on the, my left side St. Mary, on my right side the icon of the Pantocrator, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and next to it uh, John the Baptist. Even Abuna, when he uh, gives incense, uh, after he comes from the altar, you know, after he gives three uh, hands of incense toward the east, 
to, to God, then on the north side to St. Mary, then to all the angels and the choir of saints. Then he look at the south side uh, to the icon of John the Baptist and give the incense to John the Baptist uh, and calling him the priest, the son of the priest. You know? So the church is following the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ in, in honoring St. John the Baptist, uh, considering him you know, the greatest uh, among those born to the women. Uh, you mentioned, Sayyidina, a very uh, uh, important uh, thing that our Lord, that uh, John the Baptist did, which is baptizing our Lord Jesus Christ. I think we need to understand and to learn why our Lord Jesus Christ submitted himself to be baptized by John the Baptist. But I will leave this to uh, a separate episode, Sayyidina, when we uh, uh, ask you to be with us again to talk about John the Baptist in the next episode. Thank you, Sayyidina. We had a great hero today, John the Baptist, that God revealed himself in his life, and he also can reveal himself in you. Thank you.